Welcome to the Dating Kinky Podcast, a cast about love, sex, romance, and kink. I've had a difficult couple of weeks. Processing some local issues has been hard because it's led people to fighting with each other and a lot of emotional labor being done. I've fallen behind in work and I've been cranky. I'm getting better, thankfully, and catching up. And I'm optimistic that my community will also heal. One thing that this whole experience brought me is clarity on the idea of anonymous posters, shit stirrers, and trolls. And I'd like to share those thoughts today. Don't feed the trolls. I've been tangentially involved with some local concerns lately. And as a facilitator of reporting for hosts and organizers, I've had a position that puts me sort of in the middle of things, which paints a target on me and highlights everything I do wrong because I'm human, which is stressful as fuck for so many reasons, but I believe that it's worth it. And I'm open to being called out for my mistakes and learning from them. And that's been happening and I'm learning. But during all of this, there have been several sock accounts and unknowns also piling in. And several people have warned me, either publicly or privately, it's a troll. And my answer is, so what? I mean, I do have personal boundaries in all of my conversations. They're pretty simple. One, people can attack me But if they attack others, especially whole groups of people, I will remove them. Two, if people misrepresent me, my words, or my intentions, I will correct. This is my right, and I will also not lie about what others say. Three, even in correction, I will do my best to be compassionate. Because I know when people are hurting, memory is a slippery fucking thing. I sometimes fail, and that often feeds the flames, but I'm okay with that too. Four, when someone seems intent on stirring things with no visible interest in creating good, I will remove them. So I apply these boundaries to every comment and engagement. And if they meet these qualifications, then I don't really care if they're a sock or someone I don't know. I will treat their concern as valid. Because it is. The questions people ask anonymously may seem meaner or more direct or possibly even provoking, That's fine. It's harder, sure. It's more stressful. But they have questions too. And they might be afraid to ask those questions as themselves or are not able to or are reducing their possible trauma or frankly are afraid of me and retaliation. Or maybe they are stirring shit. But if they have that question and it's been posted, then my answer is not just for them, but for everyone reading and watching and wondering the same thing. Hell, they might actually represent more than just themselves. So if they meet my criteria, then I will answer and I will do my best to be kind. And I will probably sometimes fail. But they will get an answer too. Troll, sock, or whatever. What are your thoughts? Am I wrong in my thinking? Should I have a don't feed the trolls policy? What would you do? Thank you for joining me today. If you love this episode, please share it with others who would enjoy it. And please do join me on our new apps available in the Google Play and Apple App Stores. Dating Kinky is built by Kinksters for Kinksters, Poly, Queer, Trans Folk, and anyone not quite vanilla, and it's free. Find me on FetLife as Nookie Notes and on Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Medium as Dating Kinky. We are on Instagram as Dating Kinky Official, all one word. Also, find me on the new Moan app in beta for iPhone. I'm Miss Nookie there. T-H-E-M-O-N-A-P-P dot com. Have a kinky day, and I'll catch you next episode.